In this tutorial, I will accomplish the following. Create an ASP.NET Core Web API. Use Entity Framework Core to access a SQL Server database. Create a React application using TypeScript. Install and use the state management library called Akita. Implement a component with a list of contacts and a form to add or edit contacts. I named the ASP.NET Core Web API project as Contacts Web API. I selected .NET 5.0. This means I will need to install a version of Entity Framework Core that is compatible with it. In Entity Framework Core, there is the concept of database context. It is the class that manages the accesses of your code to the database. We implement a database context by deriving from the DB context class. The constructor allows dependency injection to configure the DB context based on settings saved into the app settings.json file. I also want the first access to the code to automatically create the database. Therefore, I added the line that invokes the ensure created method from the database object. Earlier, I implemented the only entity that I want to use for this tutorial, contact. DB set creates a table for the associated entity type. Note. I mistakenly left a semicolon at the end of the connection string. I will be fixing this later. Because my web API will be hosted under a different URL than the React application, I want to configure the ASP.NET Core API to add headers to enable cores. I am deliberately requesting full cores access to make this tutorial easier. However, in real life, I would be much more careful. I finished the implementation of the ASP.NET Core Web API. Next, I will create the React application that will access this Web API.
Akita helps us manage the state of an application. This state can be just in memory or records from a database. The entity state will wrap the entity that represents the database record. In our case, contacts. Entity store defines the storage for the state. It presents a truthful and single source of the state. Store config helps us with configuring the state store. Filter provides a way to narrow down the results, or display all records, for the entity state. The class that will be implemented as the store needs to be decorated with the store config annotation. Each store has to have an application-wide unique name. There are other properties of the store config annotation that allows you to detailly configure your store. The Query Entity class provides an API full of methods to query the state of the entities in the store. It returns observable results, that you can subscribe to, to be notified of changes in the state. The store provides a callback to notify the user interface if the store is busy loading data. We change the busy status by invoking the set loading method. The use effect hook will help me prevent the component from rendering and invoking the store for records indefinitely. The use state hook will help me display the records on the user interface. When the store has changes, the use effect hook will make sure the use state hook knows about it.
The end.